lucky me it's past 10 o'clock because this is the time to admit that I am a wine lover. And actually I hope that all of you in the room also are because I'm also a wine maker. And as a wine maker, I would like to take you on a journey on what it is like to perform this beautiful perfection that is so closely bound with nature and also understand what the challenges are and how technology can help us overcome it. So let's take this role. We walk through our vineyard in southern Styria, uh, steep hills, or maybe through the narrow terraces that you might have seen in Wachau, or even narrow and steep as you have it in Germany in Mosul. So our job as winemaker is twofold. One, we need to take care of our plants, of our vineyards, because they need to grow every year. So we do plant analysis. We need to understand, is everything healthy? Is everything as it should be? And if necessary, we mount our tractor and we then do plant protection. So what happens if we don't do this? And this is where the challenge starts, because nature won't always let us do the work that we have to do. We're organic winemakers. We need to perform plant protection always after rainy days. If we don't, we have a serious issue because this is what we live from. We got fallouts in harvest. We have issues because uh, of floor conditions and cannot do our work. We have steep hills and it's impossible to do it. And the people who still try, sometimes die trying. So, as we were before, I'm an engineer at heart and I have the feeling there has to be a solution. So the idea we want to spread today uh, is based on bees and an elephant, whereas the bees simply is the symbol for an autonomous airborne agent, actually, who is organized in a swarm and it is based in a hive. And the elephant, on the other hand, is kind of a symbol, a proven symbol, uh, as the way that Google works. So Hadoop, who of you knows it, young people who know Hadoop, uh, is an elephant and basically it's a concept of using very cheap equipment to work in parallel and then to very difficult tasks. So bringing these two topics together, uh, we are forming Green Hive. Green Hive is uh, part of the incubator program, which is a combination of Bumblebee, so an autonomous airborne agent that is used to uh, analyze our vineyard and to do plant protection on the other side. It is organized in a bigger swarm, so they are organized in a hive coming together. And swarm as the third part is what does the whole um, mind behind it, so to say. So bringing these three things together, we want to have an autonomous helper in our vineyard so we can sleep longer in the morning and do not have the issue of, of fallouts. So what that means, just to give you a picture, um, this is what such a drone looks like. This is Bumblebee. Bumblebee actually should be a, a drone that I can trust, that can work autonomously in the area where we need it. So you can imagine this, well, this size is our vineyard. So we got columns that are in a, in a pace of 2 meters 60 roughly. And this thing needs to navigate in there. So it is a, a swarm-based agent. You can see it on the, on the image. You get several of these drones that operate autonomously, that are organized around the hives that you strategically position throughout your vineyards or through your fruit plantation, if you like. And you have the central brain that organizes the things together. So now that we have a system that supports us in working like this and that gives us the opportunity to do the work that we need to do at the times where we're usually not able to do it, this is what the spirit of Green Hive is. There's a lot of development to be done. There's a lot of basics that need to be um, created and then be reapplied. But the idea of the whole thing is to live a life unburdened as a grower. Because every time where we have the issue of not being able to take care of our crops, this is where we need to, where we are in danger actually um, of losing our existence. And therefore, Green Hive wants to go against this. Thank you very much.